Um, hey, John. Um, yeah, this is looking a lot better. So I'm going to keep this really short. I would, what I would do at this point, this kind of text is never legible, this stuff that vertical. So what I would do is just make the guy a little bit smaller. Um, and I would also make like the gradient a little bit darker. Like, I mean, not the shadow, the gradient part of the shadow because, and I'm not saying maybe this is too small, um, but just so we can see the, the, you know, the dark part a little bit more. And then if you do this, you'll have enough space to make the text, but the text needs to stand out. It's really not standing out. I don't mind this, but I think that, you know, I wouldn't have it all curving like this. Um, so with flipping, I, I like flipping, but again, I don't know. No, oh, it's gonna lose the font usually because I don't have that font um, and again it needs to something needs to happen for it to stand out so you might want to go into the layer styles um, you know you can do you know like an outer glow or something like that not that color but um, you know something kind of a you know you could use some cool color it's everything's pretty warm um, I don't know about that one though, and I don't know about that one. But anyway, you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, you know, I mean, because it just the text just needs something. Uh, let's see the stroke. What, what would that look like? Not that color. Um, so it's got the green on there. Maybe just like a gray or something like that. Oh, not that dark. Yeah, eh, maybe that dark. You know. Anyway, so just play around with it to kind of you know, just to see what you can pull out of this with, um, that's way too big, but just a little, you know what I'm saying? Because what you want is you want it to look refined and you want it to stand out. You know, the thing, the problem is this, this. So what I would do is once you get this placed where you want it, I would go to the background here and I would, um, I would just go in and, and burn and dodge. So what I would do is there it is right there. I would go into the dodge tool, which um, we didn't really do much with that this time, um, which is here. Um, and that just is like in the dark room, you're going to make it lighter, but make it really low percentage because it's so easy to overdo this. And then when you have it, I'm going to make the brush smaller. So when you have it the way you want it, um, then you can just kind of dodge this out a little bit, just a little bit, because I'm, I'm on that layer, so it's not going to hurt your flipping. And again, it takes. Let's see, where's the, oh, you got, oh, I see, no, 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 I don't want to do it on anything but the little, so I have to make it a lot smaller, sorry, um, but again, maybe higher than 5%, um, so just go in and just, just lightly, just do it a little bit until it starts to allow this to come out more, because um, the black is kind of a problem, um, you know, making the, the text. Okay, so anyway, you're almost there. Um, it's been really fun watching this um, come together. I think the background's a lot better. Um, um, and yeah, just needs some text. But I think that if you move the guy down over here a little bit, you'll have plenty of room to put the text in. And again, you know, think of, you know, just like these ones that I've showed you, they don't need to be the same font. It doesn't even need to be the same size. Um, you know, just, you know, just continue to work with it. But I think I think your font is pretty good. Um, I just think that, yeah, I just, that's not working, but everything else pretty much is. So yeah, good job. Okay.